The International Criminal Court issued arrest warrants for Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his former defense minister, accusing them of war crimes and crimes against humanity over the war in Gaza. The decision turns Netanyahu and the others into internationally wanted suspects and is likely to further isolate them and complicate efforts to negotiate a ceasefire to end the 13-month conflict. But its practical implications could be limited since Israel and its major ally, the United States, are not members of the court and several of the Hamas officials have been subsequently killed in the conflict. Netanyahu and other Israeli leaders have condemned ICC chief prosecutor request for warrants as disgraceful and anti-Semitic. U.S. former President Joe Biden also blasted the prosecutor and expressed his support for Israel. But the ICC said that Israel's acceptance of the court's jurisdiction was not required. Health officials in the Gaza Strip said the death toll from the 13-month-old war has surpassed 44,000. The Israeli offensive have also caused heavy destruction across wide areas of the coastal territory and displaced 90% of Gaza's population of 2.3 million people. The warrants for Netanyahu and Gallant were issued by a three-judge panel in a unanimous decision. The panel said there were reasonable grounds to believe the intentionally and knowingly deprived the civilian population of Gaza of objects indispensable to their survival, including food, water, medicine, fuel, and electricity. The Israeli foreign minister said in September that it had submitted two legal briefs challenging the ICC's jurisdiction and arguing that the court didn't provide Israel the opportunity to investigate the allegations itself before requesting the warrants.